I'm Ali, welcome to Esme Studio. Um, for those who don't know us, we are a seasonal flower studio based in Shepherd's Bush in West London and we specialise in growing all of our own flowers and so we thought we would show you today um, our 10 favourite varieties that we grow for cutting in the spring. So we grow these flowers at our cutting garden which is in Hampshire. This is Fritillaria persica and it's a variety called Green Dreams. What's really special about it is that the persica are quite often in a, a plum, sort of dark purple colour. And there's another one called Ivory Bells, which is a pistachio green, but this one is both. So the outer petals are this sort of beautiful, soft, chocolatey brown. And then the inner petals are this beautiful, soft green colour and they're extremely magical and great for using in urns and larger arrangements at this time of the year. The next one is Clematis Montana um, or Himalayan Clematis and this is really special to us because this was growing up the front of um, the house that we grew up in, our childhood home and we really love it. Um, it's a really great vine um, for using again in sort of slightly larger scale arrangements and the petals are like crepe paper. Okay next Fritillaria acmopetala. Hello, Mavis. <laughs> this is uh, called the pointed petal fritillary. You can see it's got these pointed petals that turn back um, and it's striped with a sort of plum and um, sort of limey green stripe. And this is lovely to use as a, a sort of tall, wispy, gestural flower. It's great for table arrangements and sort of slightly smaller arrangements where you need a little bit of height and something sort of dancing above the other flowers. Now for a little, um, tiny little flower, Myosotis. So this is um, forget-me-not, this grows wild around our cutting garden. When you look at the, the details of these tiny, tiny little flowers growing up the stem, they're just exquisite really good for like a filler flower in arrangements where you need some tiny little dainty clusters of flowers together and obviously this blue is so beautiful and there aren't that many flowers that are this strong blue color the name um, for this flower comes from the greek for mouse's ear um, because the foliage um, apparently look like mouse's ears i don't know i've never seen a mouse's ears that up close but um there we go <laughs> Scylla Hispanica, uh, this is a Spanish bluebell and obviously it's not a bluebell, it's a pink bell. <laughs> These are really, really beautiful. Again, a lovely spire flower and ideal for sort of small to medium sized arrangements with the flowers, that sort of bell shaped flowers growing up the stem. Next up, uh, this is Ifeon White Star, so named for obvious reasons. And this is a brilliant, uh, very small flower on a very um, fine, dainty stem. The thing that I love most about it actually is that it has this line. It almost looks like it's been drawn down the back of the petals. It's like a line up um, a pair of, you know, sexy stockings at the back. And it's just, it's a sort of gray, fine line. It looks hand drawn. I love that these have a very um, crisp look in arrangements. When you, when you place them in an arrangement, usually I'm using them sort of towards the end when I'm finishing off as a final touch. And they really, um, they really sort of pop out. They're a very crisp, beautiful looking flower. This is one of my favorite tulips. We grow lots of varieties of tulips and we really love them when they're in their second year, when they come out slightly smaller. And this one is called Charming Lady. I just really love that sort of soft, peachy, glowy look. That's Mavis dropping a ball. <laughs> this is my favorite Narcissus, um, and it's called Pippet. Has this incredible um, sort of ombre where it goes from lighter at the center and the, the petals um, get darker towards the edge. They're just a very cheerful little flower. Next is this little um, grape hyacinth. This is muscari and it's called peppermint. It's a lovely sort of very pale gray blue, tiny little flowers. It's very useful for bottles and sort of low bowls, table flowers. And last but not least, this is a very beautiful variety of ranunculus called cafe au lait and these are 
the most incredible colours. They all vary. Some are more red, some are more copper, some are more orange. Because of the sort of two-tone nature of the, the colours, they look almost metallic and they really glow in arrangements. If you're interested in growing your own flowers, um, these are a really great one because they are easy to grow. You plant them in the autumn. I'm sorry, that's a train above. Um, you plant them in the autumn and uh, they start flowering in April. They flower pretty much through to sometimes to late June. There's a few still around, so they have a nice long season. And they're just incredibly useful for smaller arrangements. They can be used as a focal flower and for larger arrangements they're kind of more of a gestural flower but they have these wonderful curving wiggly shapes and the colours are just extraordinary. Thank you so much for joining us for this video. Those were our favourite uh, top 10 varieties for growing and cutting in April. If you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing. We post videos here on flower arranging, on growing flowers um, and visiting gardens in search of inspiration. So we'd love it if you would join us for our journey. And thank you so much. See you in the next one.